Ashley, thank you. This weekend, the Sunset Music Festival is rolling into Tampa, and some of the area's top techno DJs are going to be performing at Raymond James Stadium. But all that pounding bass has some neighbors making noise of their own. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you what event organizers are trying to do this year to help those who are vexed by the volume. Believe me, I am dreading it. I am dreading it. A full weekend of electronic dance music, techno, and dubstep is definitely not music to Grace Louise's ears. Last year, I could not go to sleep. I could not watch my TV. My windows vibrated. I couldn't hear. I had to stick cotton in my ears. Each year, the Sunset Music Festival at Raymond James Stadium sends sound waves into the surrounding neighborhoods all day until 1 a.m. while shaking window rattling bass that, unlike other events, drives neighbors nuts. I lived through football games. I lived through regular concerts. They, they don't bother me. You don't hear them that much. That's enough all day long. 10 o'clock, stop. Jimmy Spagnolo says he doesn't mind the music itself, but can't understand why they don't end the show earlier. A neighbor of his even rents a hotel room away from the area. Because can I sleep? Oh, okay. Yeah, really. it's a lot of noise, you know. This year, organizers say they're doing what they can to mitigate the noise physically by aiming those huge speakers directly into Raymond James Stadium and by using technology, too. Part of that technological approach includes a team of people literally driving around the neighborhoods surrounding the stadium, monitoring the volume with decibel meters, then sending that information back to folks who are in charge of the volume and making adjustments if necessary. Another high-tech fix is the use of computers to literally shape sound waves so they don't move in straight lines, instead bending them so they don't travel as far. Jimmy Spagnolo says he likes the sound of that. Because that's something help. It's no, no a lot of noise in these size, you know. But Grace Louise says she'll believe it when she hears it, or better yet, doesn't. What can I tell you? They say a lot of stuff and then it doesn't happen. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 News. Have to wait and see. The Tampa Sports Authority has also set up a hotline for people in those surrounding neighborhoods to call if they feel like that volume is just getting out of hand. But they warn that this weekend's stormy weather that Ashley was just telling you about may not help because the sound waves from the show could bounce off of those low-hanging clouds.